Yeah, hello. You alright, mate? How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Just chilling. Yeah, going to film some videos in a bit. Yeah. Gonna do Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Yeah, it's a shit name. Well, you know how I lost my cherry, mate. You were there. You were egging me on. Plus, you had to pay for it, didn't you? Yeah. I tell you what, it's my dream to have sex with two women. For most men, that would mean at the same time. Word to your mother, my name's Steve, this channel is Frags to Riches and thank you for tuning in. You know I appreciate it, you know I do. Today I'm reviewing a Tom Ford fragrance from 2018, it is Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, for those of you that are wondering why I'm reviewing such an expensive fragrance on a channel that is supposedly dedicated to affordable fragrances, at the end of the video I'm going to tell you about a cheap clone of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry that is hella good value for money. So Tom Ford's Lost Cherry in the UK retails for... <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't say it without laughing. Like retail in some of the main department stores for a hundred mil is three hundred and fifteen pounds. Yes, you can get it cheaper at discounters and you know smaller volumes, but a hundred mil for three hundred and fifteen pounds. Surely that must come with a happy ending, surely. So needless to say, I did not pay for this fragrance. Well, I did, but I paid for a sample of this fragrance. I got my sample from fragrancesampleuk.com. I'll put a link down below. I'm not sponsored. I don't get any kickback or anything like that. I just think it's really useful website. So that's why I kind of share it with you. They're run, uh, the, the website's run by another YouTuber called Greggy Boy 76 So check out his channel. He does some really good reviews. Anyway, so I thought I was going to hate this fragrance. I really did, and that's kind of why it's taken me so long to kind of give it a go, but I was a bit curious. And you know what? I don't. I don't hate it. I actually really quite like it. It's really, like, I feel like this is a guilty pleasure for me. I sort of really enjoy it. Now, I'm not going to tell you all about the notes, because basically yeah, there's a shitload, and I can't bother to remember them. And all you really need to know is it's obviously like cherry, full-on, full-on rich, luxurious, quality cherry that's you get that and i also get some of the almond and there's some uh, liquor in there as well so you kind of get like this sort of booziness um so you just get like this really rich cherry some of the almond and obviously it comes with some sweetness now the sweetness is not too over the top it's quite subtle i thought it would be again a bit too much or a bit too kind of feminine or girly or just a bit sort of childish or something but it's not it's a really quality quality kind of luxurious cherry, um, which I really enjoy. Now, the only thing I would say is I would probably not necessarily wear it myself. I would rather smell it on the other half. I'd rather smell it on someone else or that, you know, I was getting kind of up close and personal with. Unfortunately, the wife isn't a huge fan. She said it was kind of, it was right, but she sort of thinks it smells a bit like marzipan, so it's kind of not for her. now. I don't know if you have um, these cakes in the United States, but in the UK we have cherry bakewell tarts, and that's exactly what it smells like to me. It's a cherry bakewell tart, which I love. I'm a fat bastard, I love cake. So as I say, you'll get some lovely luxurious cherry and some nice sweetness that is not too over the top or too cloying. Unfortunately, it doesn't hang around this scent for, th for 315 pounds. It should last a week and a half, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Now, a lot of people, when I kind of commented on Instagram that I was kind of testing this, a lot of people said it lasts minutes, it's like half an hour. Now, it wasn't awful for me. It wasn't sort of awful, but it really wasn't good, especially for the money. It lasted about three hours on my skin, and don't get me wrong, it was pretty close for most of those three hours. I got about 30 to 45 minutes of projection, and then it was really quite close. So when I say it lasted three hours, it was a skin scent that I was having to, to inhale up close to kind of get, but it was still there for about three hours. And after three hours, it was just like my dignity. It was gone. So should you try this fragrance? Yes, you should. Well, next time you're in a department store, give it a go, because it's I've never smelled anything like it. It's quite unique. It's very luxurious. It's a very quality kind of blend. It smells really good and I'd love to smell it on someone that I was kind of getting jiggy with. But should you blind buy it? 
Did you blind buy it? Blind buy it! 315 quid! <laughs> blind buy it though! Blind buy it! <laughs> no, no you should not. Now what I would recommend you do is look at some of the clones of this fragrance. Now, I know some of the hardcore frag heads out there would say, you know, that's not right, you should kind of support the fragrance houses. But I'm sorry, 315 pounds, <laughs> 315 pounds for something that lasts a couple of hours is, is offensive, I'm sorry. So I don't know what fragrance, uh, what clones are in the US, by all means uh, kind of let me know and let other people know in the comments section below. In the UK there's a few fragrance uh, clone houses that uh, have done some good versions of it. Now I've received a sample, a, a kind of 30 mil travel size sample, which I did not pay for, uh, from a KDJ Inspired, which is a clone house here in the UK. I'll put the prices up on the screen, but as you can see, they are a fraction of the price of the real Tom Ford. Now. I must admit, I did not have high expectations from this because thinking about the kind of notes that are in Tom Ford, like the cherry and some of the sweetness, I thought a cheap version, it's gonna smell really quite synthetic and unpleasant, if I'm honest, and I was wrong. Now, there is some subtle differences. Yes, it doesn't smell as kind of, so I should say it's called TF Cherry, this version, which is from KDJ Inspired. Now there are some subtle differences, and yes, it does smell slightly more synthetic and not quite as you know good a quality as the Tom Ford, which is to be expected. But it smells really, really good, and it's really close to the original. In the first sort of when the Tom Ford is projecting, um, the cherry is a bit richer than it is in this one, so the cherry kind of isn't as dialed, and I would say the almonds are a little bit stronger in this one. So the sort of cherry is probably down a little bit, the almonds a little bit up, but it, there's not much in it. It's really similar. Um, and then after about an hour, once it's, they've both dried down, this is really close, like really close to the original. So for the value for money point of view, it is an absolute no brainer. It's, oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's really, really good version. And it performs a lot better. So I got, um, Projection wise, it's still not a beast projector. I only got sort of one to two hours tops kind of projection. It's probably more like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. So it's still not like a beast projector. It still wears fairly close. But to be honest, that's not necessarily a bad thing because the type of fragrance this is, I wouldn't want to kind of project too much in an office. You know, that sort of, it might be a little bit divisive, this kind of fragrance. So I wouldn't want to be a beast projector. Um, but the performance, the longevity is good. I got about five to six hours longevity on my skin and when I say that I could still smell it at that point but it was kind of really faint it was a really close um, um, skin scent where the Tom Ford after three hours was gone like I literally could not smell it so you know a good sort of five to six hours out of this is a lot better and again if you get one of these travel sizes which the kind of costs about five pounds absolute fucking no-brainer so that's what I recommend you do. Check out some of the clone houses to see what they have to offer. I would certainly recommend TF Cherry from KDJ Inspired. I've not tried any other clone houses though, so by all means comment below and let me know which ones you have tried and which ones you would recommend, especially if you're in the United States because KDJ Inspired do not ship outside of the UK, I don't think. Um, I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me grow the channel. And as always, if you haven't done so, do hit that subscribe button. I would very much appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. I will see you for the next one. Uh, much love.